include everything. All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish up the Pomodoro clock. Uh, what we were doing last time was we were going to set up the reset um, functionality. So the first thing that we want to do is when our break time, when our break is over, we want to go ahead and show the reset button. So let's go ahead and target that. And we're just going to say dot show. Now let's go ahead and just run this and make sure that everything's working. Uh, nothing broke in between my five minute commercial break here. So session time's going to count down. Time's up. It's going to say time's up. Break time's going to switch over. All right. Uh, so first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get rid of this. We're going to want to hide this and hide this. So our break is over. Now, what we can do is we can... Oh, we also want to play a sound when the break is over. So we'll just go ahead and play the same sound. You may want to get a different one. And then we may want to go ahead and hide the break number as well. So let me go ahead and bring this up. Start break. So we want to go ahead and hide time type as well. So we'll just go ahead and target time. Actually, I didn't target it. I think uh, this reset needs to be outside of something. Um, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and hide the uh, break number. So just go ahead and hide break num. Now that it's done counting, we can just go ahead and hide it. We play, so we play the sound, we, we're gonna hide this number here. Now let's go ahead and get on with the uh, break num logic, with the reset logic. So when you click reset, that's a good place to start. So when you click reset, so use the select target selector and click, we run a, run a function that does some stuff. Now what is that stuff that we want to do? That will be what we're getting to. What it's going to want to do is we're going to want to reset our count to 25. And uh, in our case, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll set it to 5. Um, go back and change this to 25. Uh, we'll do 25. Um, Count to 25, and then we want to set the break time to equal to 25 as well. Um, now, what we can do here is simply um, set the num. We're going to go ahead and target this. Now that I'm looking at this, I think we could probably leave out those first two lines of code. Um, we're going to set that our session num here, HTML to our count value. And we're also gonna go ahead and set the uh, break num to the same value. Excuse me, to uh, the break time value. Which is crucial because um, don't forget that we actually, we actually use that to show how things are working. Like I showed that to use to get our values. So next we have to show everything. Remember how we hit everything? We're basically gonna do the opposite here where we have to bring it all back. So the first thing that we can show is, we'll just start with start. Next thing that we can target is the minus five clock. The next thing that we can target is the add five clock. The next thing is the minus five break. And the next thing is add five break. Oop, don't forget your hashtag, or it won't work. Uh, after that, we can, uh, we want to be able to show the break num. And we want to show the num, I imagine. Let's show num if it's not already shown. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and run this logic real quick and make sure all our shows are working and then there may be some stuff that we have to hide. Let's go ahead and run this. So we hit start. Now this is going to take about 10 seconds. Um, this would be a great time to go ahead Time's and like up. and subscribe on videos if you haven't already. Just throw that out there. Time's up. 
Cool, so we're definitely going to want to hide this. Um, but let's make sure our reset is working. So reset is not. Now let's go ahead and look at our reset. Let's see if our reset is ID is equal to reset. Hashtag reset click function. Now why isn't that working? Maybe it's the semicolon here that we forgot. Uh, let's try this one more time. If not, I'm gonna have to pause the video and do a little troubleshooting. Get another great opportunity to share the video. Still Time's up. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Let's see if this works. Time's up. Cool. Here's our reset. All right, I'm gonna pause the video, do a little troubleshooting. And I'll let you know what I come across, guys. Aha. So. The key thing to keep in mind is you have to actually call the function on air dot show. Uh, it's amateur hour at coding tutorial 360. Uh, I know, guys, uh, mistakes happen. Um, so let's let's make sure that was the mistake. Uh, I didn't even test it till I saw it right now. So let's go ahead and see. What's Time's going up. On here, our session time, our break time. Time's up. Reset. There we go. Um, everything's looking a little boosted. Uh, so we have to hide the reset here. We want to remove break time and we want to bring back our titles. So first thing that we can do is go ahead and add the titles. So we'll add hashtag title one. And then we'll add hashtag title two. Uh, we're gonna run that. We also want to hide time type. So let's go ahead and hide the time type as well. Uh, and we want to hide the reset button. So we, again, we can do that in one one thing of code here. So we want to go ahead and just go hashtag reset. Oh, excuse me. Hashtag reset and hashtag time type. And we want to go ahead and hide that and it should return us back to a very beautiful page like we had before. Um, so let's go ahead and run this and then we'll test out the, uh, the code here. So this is what we want it to look like after we reset it. Time's up. Time's up. Okay, so this break time here is not being removed still. Let's go ahead and see what we, oh, our time type, like so. And actually, let's go back up to here. We have this here. We want to hide the break num. So we also want to go ahead and hide the time type as well. Again, this is this almost feels like CSS. We're basically just doing a little bit of formatting. We want everything to look nice. We want everything to work. And um, we need the reset to appear like it was before. So we're going to do our session time. Uh, Time's up. We have our break time. Time's up. Cool. Uh, we're done. Reset. We're back to where we started. And our values are at 25. We should be able to loop through here one more time. Make sure our code doesn't break. Time's up. So you'll see right now that uh, Time's we don't up. have our values showing up here. So we're going to have to fix that next. So when we do the reset. So we're probably going to have to do a show that is adding those values back. Now what we can do is just go ahead and add this right here. So we hide these initially, and then our time type.html, we're gonna need to just go ahead and add a show. So when it triggers that timer a second time, if it's not there, we just want it to go ahead and show it. So we can go hashtag um, time type, and then we'll just go dot show. And we'll go ahead and copy this and do the same thing in break time. Break num dot show. Uh, oh. Let's see, do we do we already do a dot show somewhere? Uh, Alright, let's uh, just go ahead and throw this in here real quick. Let's see if our logic is working. 
That's why it's really important to run through your code a second time as well and actually see that everything works because you'll catch a lot of little things like that that you may have soon may have already logically have been working. Uh, Time's so, up. Yeah. Break time. Time's up. Very nice. We'll go ahead and reset. Bring this down to five seconds. Start. So there's our session time. Cool. That's working. Now our break Time's time. up. And, uh, Time's up. All right, cool guys. Uh, so in the next video, what we'll do is we'll set up some um, some formatting for the minutes and seconds. So right now we're basically dealing with five seconds at a time. We're going to set it up to be a mu much larger than that, and we'll have to fast forward through that for the next video. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, special thanks to everyone who likes and shares. It really helps out the channel a ton. And thank you to anyone who supports me on Patreon. See you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my collaboration with Eric Surf 6 going over how to get started coding. And if you're looking for some coding help, go to Code Mentor using the annotation or card. And if you're looking for internships or part-time jobs or full-time jobs as a student or a recent grad, check out wayup.com. See you guys next time.